Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is obviously BTD and welcome back to my channel. Now, today what we're doing is something a little bit different seeing as I just wanted to cover uh, these things as I did with the last thing and these things are boxing. So if you've been hiding under a rock, you would have known that KSI and Logan Paul had a boxing match and well, Deji and Jake Paul as well, but we'll cover them in due course. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my opinions on the match really, seeing as there's been a lot of videos, there's been time for me to analyse all of these videos, seeing as the match was Saturday night. And now it is Tuesday, I'm making this, but obviously this is going to go out on Wednesday probably. And yeah, I just want to give you guys my verdict on the on the matches really. So yeah, let's get into this. I don't want to dilly-dally on the, the video, make it really long. I just want to give you my short, sharp opinions and have it at that. So... Let's start off with, I'm obviously going to only cover Jake Paul and Deji and Logan Paul and KSI, but all the other undercards we can also cover, but if you guys want that, leave it down in the comments, but for today, all we're going to classify is the two matches. So let's start off with Deji versus Logan Paul. Now, if you don't already know or tell by my accent, I am from the UK, so you would have automatically thought, you're real rooting for Deji, aren't you? Well, yeah, but, um, no, I sort of felt like... Jake Paul was going to bring it to this match, seeing as, yeah, Deji's talked a load of rubbish about Jake Paul, he's talked this, he's talked that, and yeah, it makes him sound like he's going to come out with this like big boy like KSI did for Joe Weller, but I sort of had a feeling in the back of my mind that things weren't going to go his way, and obviously, if you didn't know, this video will contain spoilers, so Deji lost against Jake Paul with the fact that his trainer threw in the towel for the match to end. Now, as you can see, Jake Paul was landing a fair few hits on Deji. I know I'm no boxing expert. I'm not got years and years of boxing background, but you can sort of tell that Jake Paul had the upper hand on Deji for the majority of this match. Yeah, he was getting a little couple jabs in here and there, a couple hits to the head, things like that. Which, yeah, it definitely stunned uh, Jake Paul, seeing as J um, Deji was coming out of a couple big bursts of power at some points, but it just wasn't enough to compete against Jake Paul. So. As much as I don't like the pools and the content that they make, yeah, like True Jordan said, Jake Paul brought it to that match and he meant business and he did well. And I must admit, as much as it doesn't, much as I don't want to, it was a good win for Jake Paul. Right now, moving on to the main event of the night, being KSI versus Logan Paul, I was worried from the outset here i was obviously rooting for jj i root for him in the ksi versus joe weller boxing match and obviously thank god he won now this one i was a bit more nervous like the last one uh the last deji and Ke uh, jake paul they did not dr they did not win they did not lose they drew now this sparked a lot of controversy in the youtube world in the media and things like that seeing as a lot of people thought it was rigged seeing as now now i think it's february they'll go to america to have this rematch for the title and yeah i sort of understand where it's coming from but then at the same time when you watch the boxing match obviously they work on points if they can't obviously knock them out or something like that or a technical knockout and yeah you sort of seen the first two rounds which really worried me ksi was just not there i know obviously he was he was probably like psyching logan out seeing what his moves were and things like that but yeah i was worried because logan was landing a fair few hits on him and you can see at several points that jj was just struggling you know he was like whoa okay i'm dealing with this here but then in the last i think it was the last three rounds i don't forget how many rounds to do six so i think it was like three three on three rounds and you can see towards the end ksi brought his shit like logan He's a big dude, so obviously he's going to tire out a lot quicker. And I think JJ used that to his advantage, seeing as once it got to like round four and five, you could see JJ was taking over. He was going to knock him out, seeing as Logan Paul started to like, he was stumbling a lot more. And I feel if the rounds went one more, it would have been KSI's to had. Now, if you're asking me who do I think won, um, I'm going to say KSI. You know, obviously a lot of people are going to say, yeah, you're biased, things like this. But no, the second half of that match, it was KSI's. Yeah, Logan Paul brought it, but I think KSI was just that one step further ahead than Logan. And I really think it should have been his. But, hey, they obviously made, the, I think it was £18 million they made of this. But 
yeah, so obviously they're going to head out to America now. They're going to go out there in February for this rematch. And yeah, hopefully we will find a winner for this. But yeah, I guess but we'll be back for this type of videos in February, I guess. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see like more uh, reactions slash reviews to big events like this, I can maybe start reacting to videos and things like that. Let me know. And yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel. But until then, I'll see you guys later. But until then, peace.